What's up, everybody? It's your boy Caleb P. Y'all already know it. Before I even get on this, this, uh, these, these topics and stuff like that, I want to go ahead and say, y'all, y'all, watch out who you're around. All right, uh, the flu is going on, sickness is going on around, and you know I want y'all to watch out. I want y'all being sick. Your boy Caleb P. You know haven't been feeling well all week. You know yesterday I haven't been feeling well. Friday, uh, your boy gotta get the, your boy trying to get all A's. You know what I'm saying? So Friday, we, you know we take ROTC class in my school and we had that PT. And, you know, uh, we did a lot of sit-ups and push-ups. You know, your boy, I don't care how sick I was. I'm finna get this hundred. I'm a all a student. I'm a all a student. I'm a all a student. And, you know, woke up Saturday morning. I was I'm not, I was sick. And then I was sore. And then yesterday I was going to do the show. But I was like, I'm not going to do all my best. And, you know, today your boy, he's doing all right. Look, I'm not, like the people say, you know, I'm not out of the woods. You know, little throat, throat kind of little, you know, stingy, but you know, and I'm still sore. So, you know, but your boy gonna give you all your best. Your boy, your boy gonna give you, I'm not doing like I did a couple weeks ago where I just went all week, one all week without no video. Your boy's gonna have to do it, all right? You know, but after this, we'll lay down, I'm gonna rest, but your boy's gonna go all out, all right? First of all, when we get back, oh, um, well, hey, like we usually do, get this weekly recap. You know what I'm saying? So first of all, uh, we have Rutgers uh, being ranked for the first time uh, since uh, hold on, I had this, I had this written down since March 1979. <laughs> uh. <laughs> okay. Okay, it's the first Rutgers basketball. Okay, well, I, let me say this too. Let me say this. Your boy does his weekly recap. I understand be long sometimes. This is what I'm here for. I'm here because y'all might be at work, y'all might be at school, and you're like, man, I didn't, I, I didn't know some of this stuff. Well, this is what I'm here for. I'm here to do my schoolwork, and then I get to learn from my phone, and then I'm like, oh. I think I should spread this out to the Killer P. Jordan fans. And then I write it down, and then I go into detail. But you, to the record, the first time since March 1979, they're 14 and 5. Well, they played yesterday against Nebraska. I think that we have 75 to 72 against Nebraska. So now they're 15 and 5. They're ranked 24, you know. But this is the point. I'm confused, though, because now they're 15 and 5. But how are they over LSU, who's 15 and 4? Because y'all are suck. How are they over Wichita, Wichita State, which is 17 and 3? How are they over... Well, how State you been losing a lot. Uh, how are they over... You know, somebody else I saw when I did it yesterday. And I was like, how are they over... Oh, yeah. Virginia. I'm like, Virginia's on the ring? You know, so I'm like, man, this is... This is not going too well for college basketball. And I'm like, well, you got teams who have a better record, and they're not even ranked. And then you have, like, Rutgers. But I'm guessing they go by the teams you lost to. You know, the Rutgers, yeah, they lost with some good teams. But, you know, you could be LSU, and y'all lost with some trash teams. You know what I'm saying? That's my fellow college basketball team. And, yeah, we won yesterday against Texas. Oh, uh, you know, so that's that that was good for us. You know, 15-4. and four. Go to the next one. I know y'all been hearing about that Kansas State, Kansas Brawl. Silvio de Sosa suspended for 12 games, and then uh, like a guy tried to break it up and he broke his arm. So I'm like, man, that dude tried, and then Silvio de Sosa tried to pick up a chair. I'm like, man, that's crazy. Like, dude, y'all, y'all just went wild out there. Like, man, uh, and you know, just that's what happens. You know, that's it's kind of like a rivalry down there. You know, that's 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 how it is. You know, oh, uh, going to the next one, Derek Jeter in the Hall of Fame. You know. He's a great player, great, great uh, baseball player. You know, they had the other guy who was so inducted. But the reason why I forgot his name, but the reason why I, I said Derek Jeter is because the team he played for. The other guy played for the Rockies, if I'm not mistaken. He played for the Colorado Rockies. Well, Derek Jeter, he played for the New York Yankees. That's a high brand. That's in the Big Apple. That's the Yankees, you know what I'm saying? That's like me playing for the Knicks or the, or the Lakers. That's a high brand or the Celtics, you know? And that's why. That's why uh, he was the he was talk, the most talked about on ESPN because of the where he came from. 
Uh, great, great things. Luca is an NBA All Star starter for the West, and Trey Young voted also as an All Star starter for the East. The reason why I had those two out of all the people is because they are doing good things. Why did they be having glare in the back of my? They got like glare. But Luca, the reason why, because those guys are second year starters, okay? So you're telling me they're gonna be like a Ben Simmons, okay? Who's gonna be playing in the celebrity, I mean, the uh, Rising Star game, and then they're gonna be playing in the, um, man, that glare's annoying me. And then they're gonna be playing in the All Star game. The, they're, they're doing good things. Luca, Trey Young, second year, and you're an All Star starter, not an All Star reserve, an All Star starter. You are doing good things. And then you have Pascal Siakam. Uh, Who's now like the leader of that team? Yes, you have Kyle Lowry. Yes, you have Fred Van Lee. But when you have Kawhi Leonard who's leaving, you, and, you, and then you're getting the paycheck, you're the leader. You, you're the you're the focus of the team, and that's what he was. Pascal Siakam. He's a uh, starting uh, for the East. All right, there's another thing right here. I know y'all been hearing about uh, what happened at the uh, Sierra Canyon game a couple uh, about earlier this week. Um, wow, the kid who threw an orange peel at uh, uh. But the kid who threw an orange pill at um at Bronny was not being having a hate crime. And uh, earlier this week, he went on YouTube, the kid, and he apologized. Hi, James family. I just want to apologize that I threw an orange pill at Bronny. Um, and I proved that I was there. January 20th. Apologize uh, by throwing, I guess his parents, his good parenting by his parents, by saying, uh, you know, telling him to apologize. And he's saying that he's a fan of Bronny. I didn't mean, I didn't try to throw it just to be having a hate crime. He's a fan of Bronny. So, so he didn't just do it just to be mean. He did it because he tried to get Bronny's attention. And that's how it is. Oh my goodness, it's glare. But when I do, it don't show the glare when I, the devil is a liar. All right, um, LSU at all gets an extension of six years and 42 million. He's 40 and nine as a as a head coach, defeating seven top 10 teams. Four of them with the top four at the beginning of the season. Took them to the national championship since 2011 and broke Alabama's streak from 2011 to 2018. Antonio Brown, um, uh, is in trouble again. I'm not gonna get on to him again because you know, just uh, that man needs help. And uh, I really hope somebody goes out there and um. And, 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 and talks to that man and, and bless him. You know, you got my boy Destroying. Uh, follow him on YouTube. Uh, Destroying is uh, he's uh, good friends of uh, he's good friends of uh, Antonio Brown. He's that kid that uh, a couple years back had to choose out of playing you uh, playing football or doing YouTube. Boys took my scholarship, took my full ride, took my schooling, took my education, took my future. Hey man, guess what? I can take all that, man. Can't bring me down though. I'ma always be up. Always be up. Up for the bucks, man. Screw the NCAA. Ooh. Why they thought this was a game? Yeah. Try to take me off the tour. I ain't going. But really just boosting my fame. Uh. They play all their athletes like fools. They try to do me the same. And he chose YouTube and you know he's good friends and I hope he can go ahead and talk to him. Um uh Willie Connie Stein to the uh Mavs, uh and uh the Warriors received a second round pick. You have Eli Manning retired retired. Um, his career is to 117-117. That's gonna be a long talk about uh, him being in the Hall of Fame. It's gonna be too long. Kawhi Leonard uh, on Friday night played against Miami Heat. Uh, first career triple double against Heat, 33 points, 10 right, rebounds, and 10 assists. Zion debut was on Wednesday. Uh, uh, they lost to the Spurs. Uh, they played uh, Friday against the Nuggets, and then they played tonight against my Boston Celtics. Uh, Zion uh, had played 18 minutes, had 22 points, four and four from the three point, 17 consecutive points in the last first four Spurs. He's gonna be great with Alonzo Ball and and and, uh, and, and Brandon Ingram. And, and it was so funny because I saw a video. Somebody said Brandon Ingram was like uh, Wiz Khalifa, and then you put them together. I'm like, oh my goodness, they they they. They kind of do look alike. And it was funny. That that was funny. That, that was funny. Um, LA Galaxy picks up Mexico star Javier uh, Hernandez. Um, 
my, my boy, uh, I mean, my uh, team, I mean, not my, not my team, but LA Galaxy is going to be good. After uh, Zlatan uh, decided to uh, not play for LA Galaxy, he went to, I think, Atletico Madrid, I believe so. Um, you know, he want to go back to the big boys and stop playing with LA Galaxy. That's going to be good, especially when you have LAFC, who's a good team against, uh, on, uh, you know, the same rivalry with uh, Carlos Vela and those other boys. So that's going to be good right there. All right, we're going to come back with the, um, with the topic. Um, after the intro. Alright. Let's go ahead and get started with this. Who will win? The topic is who will win. Well, first of all, we'll get again. Real talk. Real life for sports good news. Who will win the Super Bowl? Your boy finna get ready. I understand I'm not feeling well, but I'm finna get it all out. Uh, let's go. Let's get it. So first of all, the Chiefs versus the 49ers. Game played in Miami, Florida. Game is gonna be played in Miami, Florida. I'm tired. I'm, I am sick of tired. I am sick of tired. Me at the breakfast table at my school. Pin out. I am sick and tired. Me at the breakfast table at my school. Man, Caleb, they know I talk about sports. Caleb, man, the 49ers going to win. The 49ers, let me tell you something. I say the, Ch- the Chiefs is going to win it. That's who I predict. The Chiefs is going to Let me say, when you have a Patrick Mahomes, okay? Great, 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 um, great, uh, quarterback. When you're telling me, you know, great wide receivers with Sammy Watkins, with uh, with uh, um, who else? Who else? Sammy Watkins, Tyree Kill, uh, Miko Hardman, Travis Kelsey. You're telling me you have targets around them? Let me tell you something. The 49ers are only good on the defensive line. Yes, they have fast linebackers like Fred Warner. You had Kendall Beckwith. Um, yeah, yeah, Kendall Beckwith. No, not Kendall. Oh, Carl Alexander. Oh, what's his name? Thanks, Carl Alexander. One of them that played for the uh, Tampa Bay Buccaneers and got traded to them. He played at LSU. But the point is, what I'm trying to say is, the 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 Ford the Forty Nine is not gonna be winning. The Chiefs twelve and four. The Chiefs know how to ball. The Chiefs it, the last time they been to the Super Bowl was fifty years ago. That boy Ed Reed joined Bill Belichick, but by, by by beating every team twice. And you're telling me he's a good coach. First time, and, and he's trying to get the first ring. This is his year. That defense. I understand. Give him my respect, the monster, the running back for uh, monster, the running back for the for the 49ers. When you have on the Chiefs a fast a, a, a team that held uh uh um that held Derrick Henry 78 rush yards last week, you are good. Or two weeks ago, you are good in AFC Championship. You are good. The Chiefs are the Chiefs came back, defeated the Texans, now up 24-0, defeated the Scored three touchdowns in the last three minutes and 24 seconds. Two touchdowns by Travis Kelsey. They are going to come out here and win this game. I am sick of tired of all these fans out here. All these 49ers people. No good well at my school. Okay. We are far, far away from San Francisco. Tell my son, man, I'm a 49ers fan. Hey, let me, say, let me tell you something. And I, I don't even like, I don't even... I don't care about the 49ers. And I can name more people in the 49ers uh, than them. I can name more stats from the 49ers than them. Y'all are some bandwagon. So stop riding with them, okay? You know you don't know nothing about the 49ers. And you're talking about something they're going to win. They're going to win. Look what I keep saying. 16, you barely defeated. You barely defeated teams. You're going to come out here. When you come out here with the pressure, with the Chiefs, your defensive line is good. I understand. I understand your defensive line, and that's all you need, basically. But when you're telling me Patrick Mahomes will have a Patrick Mahomes will have, you rush for 106 yards in the postseason, and you only play two games. The point is, what I'm trying to say is, when you have a good defensive line for the 49ers, and you're telling me a Patrick Mahomes know how to scramble like a boy, know how to scramble so good, know how to scramble very well, and you're telling me that defense line's all you have. If he's running now, who's going to guard? Y'all play zone. Who's going to guard Tyree Kill? Well, if you got Tyree Hill, who's going to guard Miko Harmon? Well, if you got Miko Harmon, who's going to 
who's guarding Sammy Watkins? Well, if you got Sammy Watkins, who's going to guard Travis Kelsey? Guess what I'm trying to say? Y'all stop doing that. Stop doing this. You don't know nothing about the 49ers. So I'm sick and tired of it. I'm tired of the 49ers fan. Now, there's one kid in my school that I know he's a 49ers fan. He's a um he's a senior. He's a senior. And I, he's a 49ers fan. He come and mess with me every week talking about song. Man, I thought you said we're gonna lose. When when they play against the Vikings, and I said y'all gonna lose. He come Monday morning. I thought we were gonna lose. We're going to Packers. I thought we were gonna lose. So the point is what I'm trying to say is He's a real 49ers fan. There's some fans where, like, like, one kid, he's a Lakers fan. And he's been a Lakers fan for, uh, uh, before LeBron and AD got there. Now these other people talking about something, we, uh, we Lakers fans now? Let, let, let me just say that. Let, let me, let me just say that. Some of them not even real Lakers fans out there. Some of them not even, some of them talking about something. One dude talking about something, he a Clemson fan, and he wearing a Florida Gators jacket. That's what I'm trying to say. Don't come out here with all that stuff. I'm sick tired. Don't come out here with all that stuff. You an Alabama fan one year, and then you turn, turn to the Clemson fan. And let me tell y'all people. And, and, and he know who I'm talking about. He know who I'm talking about. I am not a Warriors fan. I am a Boston Celtics fan. I only like the Warriors because of Curry. I wasn't a fan, though. And he know who I'm talking about. I'm not gonna say no name. I'm all, I'm, I'm I'm a Boston Celtics fan. So stop saying that. I talked to him last night. I said, man, we playing your team today. He's a Pelicans fan. He said, well, which one of your team? I am not a Warriors fan. I am a Boston Celtics fan. I only like the Warriors because of Curry. I was always a Boston Celtics fan, though. Come on now. The NBA, it's like college football where you can be like, Oh man, I like two teams. That's different. The NBA, people don't even like teams, people like players. I don't like the players, Steph Curry. That's it. And you know, who I'm talking to, I know you're watching this. Back what I was trying to say though, you defeated the Titans in AFC Championship 35 to 24. Chief. Patrick Mahomes, 4,031 pass yards. Travis Kelsey, 1,229. What I'm trying to say is... What I'm trying to say is that... Oh, I'm tripping. Let me... I forgot to add some stuff for the... uh. I'm the weekly recap. Oh, uh, yeah, I forgot to add. Looking at my board right there. I was looking at my paper. I didn't handle my paper. I looked at my board. The Senior Bowl, uh, the North 131, the South 117. Justin Herbert from Oregon wins MVP. Uh, and the Pro Bowl will be playing today. The tag, the, the flat, I mean, the tag football will be playing today. Non tackle football, tag football. I mean, they should just cancel it. I mean, I don't understand why they have it. Because I'm like, you just playing tag football out there. You're not even tackling. You playing tag football. But, you know, you're both gonna be watching it. Just to sit there and laugh. But, back what I'm saying was, in the postseason, Patrick Mahomes, 615 passing yards, and rushing yards, 106 rushing yards. The receiving yards is 190 by Sammy Watkins. Then, that boy Dan, Dan Sorensen, that boy Dan the man, Mama, here it is. Oh, no, no, no. How do you say? Mama. There you go, that man. I was talking about that. I forgot. Somebody be saying that on, um, it be on NBA, NBA or TNT. Somebody be saying that. But anyway, that man is the man. Dan is the man. That boy 17 tackles in the postseason. And he only played two games. Now, 49ers. Give you my respect. You did abuse the Packers twice. You abused the Packers twice. I'm like, goodness, the Packers. Why is the Packers there anyway? I mean, I mean, we should, we, we, we would have had a better game. 
than the 49ers. I mean, gosh. I mean, I mean, in the Packers. I mean, the Packers just got slapped twice. I mean, they got manhandled. I mean, just, just, just getting wrapped up and, and thrown outside, uh, uh, getting thrown off the Brooklyn Bridge. I don't know. They just got worked twice at the same place. The boy Jimmy G, 3,978 passing yards. George Kittle, 1,005, I mean, 1,053 receiving yards. Yes, the average fast D line. Yes, the boy Bosa. Yes, the boy of uh, the Fourth Buckner. You had D Ford who used to play for the Chiefs and not play for the 49ers. I understand what you're trying to say, man. But when you're telling me the Chiefs, the Chiefs are going to come out here. The Chiefs are going to ball out. The Chiefs are going to handle their things. They're going to do the right thing. They're going to come out here and play their hearts out. The 49ers, y'all not ready for this. Y'all not ready? I understand what you're trying to say, but y'all ain't ready. Ah. Y'all not ready. You do have Fred Warner, who's a good lumber. 89 solo tackles, three sacks, and three forced fumbles, and one interception. I understand what you're not saying, but you're playing the Chiefs. verse bible topics um it's gonna be about patience uh now i don't want to be too long on this video uh because again i'm gonna edit this and then you know i have school tomorrow um you know and you know i'm gonna rest my body uh so i can go to school tomorrow mm. uh so patience so patience is is a strong word you have to have patience i'm sorry y'all. this happened every time i just unplugged this thing What's happening? Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. Patience. Patience is a word that we should we I mean it, it's something that we should have. We should have patience. Um being patient is having being having being patient is having trust. You're saying, you know, if God says wait or is this someone saying, you know, wait. You know, are you 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 you're, you're gonna wait? Cause you have a trust. You're, you're you're waiting. You know, you're just waiting. Ecclesiastes six seven eight. You know, remember I told you about. Uh, I'm trying to find out who the author is. Cause uh, oh, I'm trying to find. They don't have the author. This. I guess they just wrote this and that's it. Okay, interesting. But anyway, though. Patience, patience, that's fear, but patience. So patience. When you have, again, patience is a strong word. So Ecclesiastes 7, 8 says, The end of a matter is better than its beginning. A patient spirit is better than a proud spirit. When you have patience, it's better than a proud. Are you, don't be eager to go do something. Have patience. Patience is, is a key word of life. Patience. Okay, when you said, you know, what your mom said, oh, you asked your mom, can I go to the store? And your mom says, wait, you know, have patience. 
Romans 8.25 says, Now we hope for what we do not see. We eagerly wait for it with patience. So we don't see it what we want to see. If we don't hear what we want to hear, or we hear like a wait, or maybe later, have patience. Patience is the key word of the success. Patience is saying that, you know, that you have, you, you're waiting. You're, you're waiting. Waiting is, is, is showing how you are properly uh, uh, amplified. You know, if you're waiting, you know what you're doing. If you're waiting, you're going to hear what people got to have to say. You know, waiting is a key word. What happened to the ball? Oh, my God. But anyway, see how the farmer waits for the precious fruit of the earth and is patient with it until it receives the early and late rains. You must be patient. Be patient. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I had to fix the camera. So the point is, that's like me. You know, you know, just waiting, seeing how many subscribers I have, how many views. But I have to be patient. You know, I can't get mad because I drop a video and you know. Two hours later, I got two views, and that's for my parents. You know what I'm saying? I have to be patient. Let me get about two days, or maybe three days, and I'll, I'll, I'll bump it'll bump up. Let me get about three days, four days, five days, and it'll bump up. Every day will bump up, but I have that patience. I can't just be like hurrying up, eager, eager. Let me get all those views. Let me get all the subscribers. You know, be eager. I gotta have patience. I will get there one day, but you have to have patience and do the right thing. And the last one, uh, Psalms 27:14. Um, it says, wait on the Lord, be of good courage, and he shall strengthen your heart. Wait, I say on the Lord. It says, wait for the, wait, wait on the Lord. You have to wait on the Lord. The Lord is going to help you out. The Lord is going to give you better things. So if you wait, you have to wait on the Lord. Wait till the wait on the Lord for what he has to say to you. Don't be so eager to do anything. All right, guys. You know, hope you have a blessed day and y'all do the right thing. Uh, and, you know, uh, it's the Keller P. Jordan Show. Uh, you know, y'all stay away from uh, uh, sickness. I hope y'all praying for y'all that y'all won't... Uh, receive any sickness because i heard a lot of flus going around and your boy ain't trying to catch that and i don't want y'all to catch it either uh because it sucks you know but you know it it is how it is um it's part of life so you know but y'all stay away y'all prevent it from happening um you know it's the killer p Jordan show and hope you have a blessed day and i'll see y'all later if i can get out of here all right Yeah, birdies just being birdies.